Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to redo a video that I had uploaded a while back. This is the Fresh Baked Cod video. After I had uploaded it, I had to fix a few things and um, for some reason I cut out quite a bit of the audio. It was very choppy and obviously you need to have good audio during a cooking tutorial because you need to know what's going on. You need to be able to hear who's cooking. So I want to redo that for you guys. A lot of people were asking questions about it and I just figured let me redo it. Um, I haven't cooked cod in a while anyway, so that sounded really good, but if you want to know how I do it, then please keep watching. I'm going to show you step by step, and it's not going to be a voiceover this time. It's going to be um, me actually cooking everything, and you can see me doing it. So if you want to know how I do it, then please keep watching. If you watched my first tutorial on this video, you'll notice that it really isn't that hard to make. Um, that is, if you followed along without the directions of course, but um, I just pulled out my fish from the refrigerator. It came in one long filet. I got it from the seafood section at HEB and I am going to cut it in half so I have two nice sized filets. So this is what I have here. This is just wild caught uh, cod. This is one filet. It is probably about close to a pound. I'm just going to cut it in the middle. I'm just going to pick a good place right here and I'm just going to cut it. There we go. And they're nice thick slices, as you can see. Now I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna bake the fish in the oven, so I'm just gonna grab a pan and I'm gonna uh, spread a little bit of butter in the bottom, that way it doesn't stick. So when we're ready to take it out and serve it on our plate, it's not going to fall apart. So I'm just going to take a little bit of butter, just about this much. You don't need much. And I'm going to put it in the pan. And I'm going to grab my napkin and spread it all around like that. We're done with the pan, so I'm gonna set that aside. And now I grabbed a little bowl like this. You can use a regular size bowl if you want. We're gonna work on the um, the breading. So what we're gonna use is some flour. We're gonna use salt, pepper, um, cayenne pepper, and some paprika. You can also add in garlic, salt, garlic powder if you want, but I'm gonna use fresh garlic. So I'm gonna skip the garlic, salt, and powder all together. So we just want a couple tablespoons of flour, just enough to coat uh, the top side of the fish. Next we're going to add some salt, some pepper, Some crushed red pepper. I said cayenne pepper, but you can use crushed red pepper or cayenne pepper, whatever you want. Just going to use a couple of teaspoons of that. Then you're going to go with your paprika. About a teaspoon or so. There we go, and then we're just going to mix it all together. Now that we're done with our flour mixture, I'm going to dice up my garlic. So I'm going to move my fish to the pan that we've already coated in butter. Or you can use um, a pan spray or whatever you have, just so you make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom. Set that aside, and I'm going to use, um, for right now, one large um, clove of garlic. This one is really big. This probably equals um, three quarters of a tablespoon, so I'm going to dice this up nice and finely. I 
I didn't do this in the last video, but I thought of it this time, and I thought that would be a perfect um, thing to add to the recipe. So I am going to zest um, about half to one lemon, and I'm going to add that with the garlic and the butter mixture that I'll show you in a second. So it's going to be more like a um, lemon crusted um, cod, which is going to be fantastic because lemon goes perfect with fish. So I have two lemons. I'm going to start with one. I'm going, I'm going to roll it out so the juices get released a little bit, and then I am going to use my zester. I'm going to zest that over my garlic, and I'll show you what I do from there. So please keep watching. And I'm going to lightly butter the top of them. So you don't need much and you just want to spread this on top like that. Actually the knife would be a lot easier so use your knife. I'm left-handed, so I have to move the whole thing around a little bit. And this is going to help give it that nice, flaky, golden crust. That's exactly what we're going for for this recipe in particular. So just like that. And the butter is also going to help the flour mixture adhere a little bit better. The next thing we're going to do is add the flour mixture on top of what we just added, which was the butter, the lemon zest, and the garlic. So you just want to spoon a little bit over the top, like this. I'm just going to pat it down a little bit like that. So it's going to look something like that. My oven is now preheated to 400 degrees, so I'm going to stick the fish in. Because it is um, almost an inch thick and I only have two fillets in there, I'm going to cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it if you have a thicker cut of fish or if you have more fillets that you're cooking at one time. Just eyeball it. You may need um, a few more minutes here and there. But you'll know when it's ready because you're going to have that nice golden crust. And uh, the important thing is just to make sure it's cooked all the way through. I'm going to grab another cutting board because I am going to mix up my uh, fresh chive and parsley that I picked from my greenhouse. Um, those will be a perfect garnish for the top of it. It's going to add a nice freshness to it and the chive will also add um, a nice little bite um, along with the red pepper. So I'm going to dice that up and I'm not going to put that on until I'm ready to eat. These are going to be the lemon slices that I'll serve with it. 
And I'm gonna use these end pieces as what I'm gonna squeeze over the top of the fish when we're ready to eat. While I'm waiting for the fish to bake, I'm gonna get my sides ready. I'm gonna do a little side of rice and some vegetables. I really enjoy um, asparagus and Brussels sprouts with fish, but I'm sure whatever you have will be just fine. So I'm gonna get those ready and I'm gonna clean up. And then when I'm finished, it'll probably be time to pull the fish out of the oven and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so I just took it out of the oven. It took about 20 minutes, so a little longer than I expected, but um, that's okay that there's a little bit of flour there. It was just a little bit of extra I put on, probably a little bit too much, but um, it'll dust right off when you bite into it or when you um, cut it. So it looks so good. We have the golden crust like I wanted. It's nice and opaque, so I know it is cooked all the way through. So I'm going to plate it up and I will show you what it looks like. But now I am going to squeeze my lemon on top like this. And I'm going to add my garnish on top like that. And then my lemon. And that is what it looks like. Looks very good to me. Can't wait to eat it. So as you can see, the fish did get that nice golden brown crust. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but um, that could have just been the thickness of the fish. So I cooked it at 400 for about 20 minutes. And I did a side of asparagus and rice. And I also topped the fish with a little bit of the chives and parsley. And I also squeezed some fresh lemon juice on top and then just put a couple of slices on the side in case you want a little bit more of the lemon juice. So I can't wait to dig in. I'm very hungry. It is a little bit later than usual for dinner, but I wanted to film this for you guys and get it up. So if you do um, try this out, please let me know. I'd love to see um, how you do it. Maybe if you put it on Instagram, tag me or something so I can see what you do. So. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support and thumbs up this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.